Hello, Professor Bright here, and welcome to Soma. It's a horror game by Frictional Games, the people who brought you Amnesia, and it's intriguing from the trailers I've seen. It seems to have the transhuman ideas of AI, machines that think they're human but obviously clearly aren't. It's intriguing, and I'm really, I've been looking forward to playing this for a while. Um, you know, I played a little bit just to get the settings down. So we're going to start a new game here. Uh, I know it's going to overwrite my latest save, but that's fine, because it's like five minutes in. And, oh, even look at the little loading screen. It's like a CT scan, I think, if I'm... CT scan or an MRI? Can't tell. Reality is that which, when you stop believing in it, doesn't go away. Philip K. Dick. Are you okay, Simon? I think you're bleeding. Oh? Oh! Uh, that's nothing. It's just my brain can't stop bleeding from the right. accident. Here, it's nothing important. Sorry. No, that that's for later, for the scan. It's green. No, it's not. It's red. Ashley, I need to tell you something. You're colorblind. Simon, please don't make this weird. No, no, it's not like that. Look, it's just that you're colorblind. It's not a big deal. Who's David Lynch? Wait, how does she know that time? name? For what? And car crash. Okay. Christ. Don't think he has anything to do with this, buddy. Anyway. Let me get yeah, that. I'm up. Hi, Simon Jarrett? Yeah, that's me. My name is David Munchie. We spoke earlier. The brain scan. Mm -hmm. I remember. Are you alright? Yeah, yeah, just a bad dream. Are, are we still on for today? Yeah, that's why I'm calling. I wanted to remind you to drink the tracer fluid I sent you. It'll help me capture a better image of the damages. Don't worry, I I, I got it somewhere. Okay, great. Well, I'll see you in a couple of hours then. Okay, see you soon. Cool. So, anyway, yes, horror game. Like I said, transhuman ideas, AI and such. And we're starting off in a pretty nice apartment. I could, I could go for this. Not a fan of the decoration, although that is a cool poster. But in Netherfrance, this yeah, doesn't. The tracer fluid. The beige noise tour. That sounds terrible. Anyway, tracer fluid. Um, where is that again? Uh, nope, you are cabinets. You are a comb. It's a... Yeah, well, whatever. Uh, hooked. Oh, this looks pleasant. Um, it's... Yeah, there we go. Mark and Diana Miller have finally caught a break. They managed to save up enough money to take the family on that vacation to Hawaii they've been talking about for so long. But as the sun sets over Waikiki Beach that first day, Mark and Diana's paradise turns into a nightmare as swimmers are caught in thousands of thin strings stretching from somewhere below the waves. Slowly, swimmers are pulled screaming into the dark water. Desperate to get out of harm's way, their seven-year-old son, Charlie, is caught by the vicious tendrils. Suspenseful, mystical, and absolutely terrifying, hooked will pull you in. I'd read that. I could go for that. Whole uh, idea of something in the deep. Fluid. Where are you? Uh, I'm with you. Um, is it always in the same place? Well. Hmm. Get well soon card. Little doodle of a robot knight. And stuff I can't read. And the text look at button is not working. Oh, hey, messages. Hey, Simon, it's Jesse. You working this weekend? Jesse! I knew there was something you were doing. Was it this weekend or next? Anywho, just... That was a very... Something. Hmm. Love you, Miss, you mean it. What? End of messages. What? I swear, that guy has the memory of a goldfish. He also has weird pausing in his an email things. To remind him, didn't I? In his speech. While he praised it as one of the most accessible and comprehensive texts about the anatomy of the human brain. Sorry, I'm trying to read off the book and I put this text up to block it. <laughs> Whoops. And let's see. Anatomy of the human brain, function, perception of consciousness. Um, yeah, you see the point where it's not a computer? I can't imagine a book this small giving you a comprehensive idea of what's going on in your brain. It's a complicated piece of machinery. Well, biological machinery. Anyhow, David Munchie, Neurograph Session. 
Okay. A neurograph? Like a... It's a brain scan, but it's of... Well, never heard of that before, so I'm assuming it's part of the game. Part of their sci-fi setting. Uh, prescription. Do-do-do. Happy to hear your headaches come less frequent. Latest tests show brain is slowly recovering. Okay, so we got brain damaged in the crash. It's unfortunate. Still too early to tell how well it adjusts to the damage. Bleeding will continue over the coming months, at least, and you will need to come to the hospital a few times to drain the cavity. Ooh. To prevent the blood from building up pressure. Since excessive stress could be fatal, I have written you a prescription for Prazosin, which I assume is a controlled substance. Uh, to help you with your nightmares, please read the instructions and medicate accordingly. Try to get a lot of rest, and I'll see you next week. And it looks like someone didn't send an email. To Jesse oh, at the Grimoire. Ooh. Ooh, I like that. That's pretty great. Yeah, since you probably forgot, here's me reminding you that I've got the doctor's appointment tomorrow. I.e., I'm not coming to work. This means you need to make sure you're actually on time to open up the store, and please unpack the boxes behind the counter. They're starting to become a workplace hazard. Also, books tend to sell much better if they're put on shelves where people are actually able to see them. Good luck. You'll need it. Because apparently you're an idiot. It's Simon. <laughs> okay. And this is May 1st. We were writing it anyway. Better right. late than never. So May 2015. It's spring. Summer's we're in the past. Hope it's a good one. I thought we were going to be in the future. Oh. oh, well. Open the door. What do we got here? Um... Got a toothbrush, deodorant, or shaving cream, not sure. Uh, radioactive tracer fluid. Are you in the shower? No. Where would I be if I were radioactive? Where would you keep your radioactive substances? Uh, yeah, this would not be the place. Um, refrigerator? Come on. Nothing but fast food. Um, I something healthier on my way home. That's usually a good deal. Although, I will say, these look jittery. Um, also, probably relatively healthy. Uh, let me see here. There it is. Oh, okay. Graduton 755. Nuclear contrast materials. Wonderful. Wouldn't you usually store that at the facility? It feels like milk, but the taste... Very weird. It's like sucking on a penny. Mmm, yeah. I've had to have tr contrast fluid before. It's never a pleasant experience. He says it's like a battery. It's kind of like a... It's kind of like... Oh, how do you describe it? A burning sensation in your throat, but a very light one. Hi, hey, homeless guy. How you doing? I don't know where we are. I'm sure to someone, the fact that we're on a subway, going to Osgood mean something? Not to me. Jesse, you're a turnip. Jesse, it's all a lie. Hmm. Got your email. Just wanted to wish you good luck and let you know I got you covered. Thanks. I should be able to come to the store after this scan. Don't sweat cool. it. I got Matt and Chris help me out. Matty from SNL? Uh, guess you didn't hear. He's coming in full time. Work in the comic section. That's Ashley's job. Yeah. Well. Oh. You know. Forget it. Not doing her any favors by leaving an empty spot. Not like she's coming back. Mom, she's dead, isn't she? Good luck. Hope they find a way to reverse the whole, you know, dying thing. <laughs> <laughs> dying thing? You're the worst support ever. Agreed. <laughs> what did I say? I'll see you later, Jesse. Don't burn the place down while I'm gone. Over and out, buddy. That's a pretty good line. Yeah, them phone booths, man. Okay, let's get off the uh, subway. Uh, okay, there we go. Wait. There we go. Hello? Um. Dr. Munchie? This place doesn't look finished. Like at all. I think maybe we have to have a discussion about, um, yeah. Where is everyone? I thought this place would be busy. Okay. Well, um, one, two, three, four. Five, six, seven, seven, eight, nine. Pound. 
Let's try my work code. One, two, three, four, pound. Yeah. Nothing. Anyway. This is the place, right? It must be. Hey, Munchie, how you doing? Let's just call Munchie real quick. Great. Got his phone turned off. That's okay. I can figure this out. Dr. Munchie? Can you hear me? Hello? What's up, Doc? Biometrics. I have to assume this is like a... This is very creepy and weird. I'm... This is not usually what I would expect from a diagnostics facility. Now let's turn on the lights. Light! Glorious light. Delightful. Anyway, uh, let's look at this laptop, violating privacy laws. But hey, not a big deal. Uh, let's get now. Paul, where are you? Got a few hours? Got a hold of Simon Jarrett. That's us. Let's do this. I saw your laptop in your reception. Are you already there? Call me as soon as possible. Who's Paul? Am I going to get mugged? Hi, Paul. Talked to Pace about using the lab this weekend. Managed to book the scanner for tomorrow morning and again on Friday. It's not a lot, but they said we could use the empty reception area as a kind of office. Mmm... Okay. It would allow us to use their computers to run models, and also if a time slot opens up, we can get in there and use the scanner rig right away. Thought we could run some tests tomorrow. We could do a scan of each other to learn the equipment. It's supposed to be pretty easy. On Friday, I'm hoping Dr. Aaron Peake will send someone over. As a patient that was recently in a car crash, should be interesting. Great. Found some extra time in the lab today. Nobody told us about the code change. Called security, talked to Professor Y, vouch for the project. Some honcho over at Pace's legal department that could re-grant us permission to use the lab. That doesn't seem like something you would call the legal department for, but whatever. Um, that sounds like a security thing. Anyway, I'm not allowed to repeat the code in mails or texts, but I'll leave a note or something in case we forget. Great. I need a note. Are you a note? You are a piece of paper I can't interact with. Um, nope. Nope. Notes. No sense notes. Page 56. Neurographics Nakajima. Moment def tweak for right length. I don't know what any of this means. Improved reverse projector technique. 2501. Okay. Or 2561. I'm gonna go 2501. Go from there. 2501. Just occurred to me, I think this is my first time with a 3D game on the channel. Not my first time with a horror game, but I'm thinking this one should be better, because this is a sci-fi horror game. Has that little bit of separation. And first aid kit? Nope. First aid is not a thing. I uh, don't know what kind of hazard that is. I don't know. Used to know, back in the day. But uh, this is not where I belong. I don't think. Also, this is a very weird setup you got here. I'm not sure... They don't appear to have any start bars on them. I'm not sure what sort of, sort of uh, operating system you got going there. But it looks a little weird to me. Yeah, screw your... drill, I think. Didn't pay that much attention. Also, you have a motherboard open here. Uh, what's going on? Huh, weird. Anyway... Going elsewhere. Getting the lights on. Actually, is there like something I can read here? Nope. Cool. So, I'm not sure why we're here. Because I was told, you know, sci-fi, horror, and ho, oh, hi. Oh, hi. Didn't hear you come in. Simon Jarrett, right? Dr. Look Munchie. at your hairstyle. But, uh, just Mr. Munchie, but I'm working on it. <laughs> um, Actually, you're helping me right now. Is this part oh. of your thesis work? Yeah. It's a study I'm doing with my colleague, You're not a doctor. We hope to design a gentle way to work with brain reconstruction to help people like you. Oh, did you uh, take the tracer fluid? Yes. Mm. Yes, I did. Great. Well, we can start whenever you're ready. Well, I think I'm just going to leave. Don't wander around. There's meals. Running away. Getting the hell out of here. I'm already dying. Oh. I doubt Munchie's scan can make it any worse. Oh, well, I guess we don't have the freedom to run away. Also, apparently we're dying. Um, you know, did you leave any secrets behind here? Oh. Brain has an amazing... Yeah. The brain has an amazing transformative quality. A plasticity. Allows it to compensate and even heal for itself. Heal itself. 
explains Paul Berg, graduate student in neuroscience. I'm not going to read the whole thing completely, but let's get a good look at what's going on here. Here's this quality. Berg and his colleague, David Munchie, student of computer science, are hoping to encourage. Interesting. We have neuroscience and computers. Now, from the trailers, I know this is all about AI, so... Hmm... Oh, Neurograph. That was the thing it was talking about. A Nakajima Neurograph. It's like a picture that indicates direction, says Munchie. Instead of a static brain scan, the neuro... Well, go back there. Instead of a static brain scan, the Neurograph can tell us where your brain is going. Interesting. We're able to fail treating you in, in a million times over? Uh, I have questions. It's not a long forecast. It's about milliseconds, but with the right computer model... Berg and Munchie can then administer all kinds of treatments without risking actual harm to the brain. Oh! So this is like making a model of the brain and then testing treatments on it. Huh. And when they do find that optimal treatment, they then apply it to the real patient. So in the early stages, but their projects caught attention from PACE laboratories. Okay, that's interesting. That'd be a pretty big deal if you could actually pull that off. Having an accurate computer model of, well, really any human organ, and just being able to test treatments on it, that would be big. I don't know what any of this means. Nope, can't read half of that. Anyway, wait, I'm sorry, does that not have a y axis on it? Oh, 0 to 100. Yeah, that doesn't mean anything to me. Anyway. Let's Please, just jump into the horror machine. It looks great. Oh. Yep. Yep. This is happening now. So, what's up? Uh, whoa. Okay. All right. Let me just mm. get this out of the way. You are Simon Jarrett, correct? Right. Okay. Sounding uh, odd. Born 1988, July 16th. Right. Flat neurograph, version 6. Good. I'm sorry, what? All files in order. Will this hurt? It's just a scan. It'll hurt about as much as getting your picture taken. Indians thought cameras would steal their souls. Native so, Americans, please. Well, let's hope they're wrong. <laughs> Ready? Say cheese. I will do no such thing. Uh, what? Um... What happened? Okay. So if I look down, I'm... I still see myself as human. Hello? Mr. Munchie? Um, I don't think he's here, buddy. Let's, uh, try moving forward a bit. Did something go wrong? He <laughs> did something go wrong. Um Well, judging from the diver suits. This isn't funny. You know, I don't think we're in a Yeah. Um, I'm not supposed to put myself in Well, finish your thought. This is kind of stressing me out. I'll bet it is, buddy. But let's flip that switch. Okay, lights. What the hell is this place? How did I get here? Lights and motion blur. Okay. Something about an Omni tool, which we don't have. Cool. Um. Okay. So, diving suits of some kind, I think, I guess. Very weird little plates on the front, but. Not the weirdest thing I've ever seen. I don't know what that's about. Oh, and there's blood on the ground. Didn't notice that before. Well, I think we're, uh... I think we'll be fine. Um, now that's cracking that. Can I break it with a chair? That's not a pleasant sound, but I think that started to work. Um, okay. 
well. Hmm. Oh, hey, bathroom. And first aid instructions. Delightful. Wait, I'm sorry, what? Oh, yeah, just regular directions for CPR and such. It looked a little weird, and that is Japanese. Or Chinese, I, I can't tell the difference, I'm very sorry. Not a linguist. And you are a toilet, with nothing in you. Cool. Good story. Humidifier. Yes, I am stalling, because I have to imagine something terrible is going to be happening pretty soon. Oh. Oh, that looks delightful. That looks like something safe happened there. And you are some kind of storage device? You're like a fridge. Very weird looking fridge. And we eat boxes in the future, apparently. I'm assuming this is the future. Munch print. As in Dr. Munchy? Or just some other company, like food printing? I don't know. Wait, how would you print food? No, oh, doesn't matter. And a symbol for the place. Um, some kind of weird... I'm going to assume this facility over a laurel or grain? I don't know. Anyway, enough stalling. Let's uh, go. Okay, that was just... I'm assuming that was just that. Anyway, let's uh, interact with this stuff. A machine hanger. Great. Uh, pneumatic seal. Doesn't go right. Goes left. Well, I'm sure there will be no negative consequences for this. A95 worker. Oh, and more of that. Okay, something's infecting the place. Also, I haven't... Okay. Well, my vision's getting distorted. Alright, so theory. We are a robot into which the neurograph of Simon Jarrett was placed. Because my vision's distorting, and it's all, like, technological-looking distortion. Oh, hey, Pathos 2, Upsilon. I'm guessing that's where we are. Great. I've discovered so much. Okay. Yep. Yep. Oh, this is a thing. Hey, you. Can you talk? Can you talk like the others? Um, that's a machine nodding, I'm guessing. Like mm-hmm. You want some structure, Joe? Yeah, you do. So weird. Doesn't make any sense. Structure, Joe? I'm gonna shut you down now, okay? Yeah, you're creepy as hell, so I'm gonna shut you down. I don't think that was a good idea. Oh! Um, excuse me, what? Um... Okay, so that's a thing that happens. Well, I think I'm going to take a pause here. Thank you very much for your time. Note those like, comment, and subscribe buttons below before we get killed. And I shall hopefully see you all soon. Ideally, when I am slightly less, you know, terrified. Okay.